Hello Legends and Super Legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. Today I review the Removal S1 Stabilizer. Now, why did I pick this stabilizer? Um, I've gotten a lot of suggestions uh, from, I think Laura Aid was one of them that talked about a gimbal, and then even Ron Ryder mentioned a gimbal. But I was doing my research to find something that would work specifically for the sport that I love. Not that this is only designed for cycling, but this is designed for the GoPro and its various attachments. There are a lot of great gimbals out there. They're, you know, they're kind of like cars. They're all pretty good for the purpose you need. You know, I wanted something compact, relatively easy to move on the bike and so forth. But nothing else out there had a GoPro attachment to where with all the GoPro things I've invested in, I could use it. There comes the removal S1. Now, um, I'm going to start with the pros first. You, you get this nice case. It's a rubberized kind of case. And in there, they've got a partition. And in here, they basically give you, this is like a security latch that you can tie on to the bottom of the gimbal. I didn't bother using that. It just stays in here. Um, you've got an attachment for the GoPro Hero 3 and Hero 4. That's what this one is. There's an attachment also the case for the Hero 5 Black, which is on my camera already. Does not come with the camera. And you get a USB cord. This is like a, a USB, just a standard USB, which I kind of think is cool because many people have a micro USB. This is a micro USB. So you've got, if you already have a micro USB, you don't even need to use it. That's why I left it in the case because I have a bunch of micro USB lying around. The GoPro itself, not the gimbal, the GoPro has USB-C, which is a different cable. So it's not just your standard USB cable that came with it. So they're all in here when you get them in this little zippered compartment here. Then they have this, the case is very nice. This is like the lower almost. And then they have the name removal on the back of this partition. It's Velcroed there, so you can take it off if you want to. I just left it there. You flip that over so it keeps all, all the parts are in here. The, the gimbal sits in there, and then they have this cover. The gimbal has a handle, which you can remove, and that's where I'm going to start the review. The handle can be removed, but you have to make sure you, you click the latch. I forgot to do that just now, and it made that noise. You don't want to do that because it can kind of rub your the edge of the attachment here. So what's cool about this product is it has little dots, There's a small dot, a white dot. Let me come over to the camera so you can really see it. There is a white dot right there that you match up with that white dot over here. So you know it's lined up and you, you match those dots up and all you do is you twist for that to connect. On the handle, there is a remote control that you push down here to remove. It's easy to come off. It doesn't come off ordinarily if you, if you don't. Let me, let me detach it and show you. Pull this, turn it, pull it out. You can see it doesn't come off easily. You have to push down, and there are a couple of magnets up at the top that hold it in place. It doesn't require a lot of force to, to get it out, but it's not going to just come out arbitrarily. There are two separate controllers. This remote has its own battery built in and the charger it comes with you can plug that in. It comes with a charger. I don't have it here. It's plugged inside so I probably should have brought it. But um, what I want to focus on is that you've got this handle is just a stick that you put in there and if you're just vlogging like when I was covering the flood I just use that like that. Or you can put the GoPro stick will go down here where you see this attachment. That's the main reason I settled on this. Let me take out this handle. What I like about it is when I'm not using this, there is an attachment here that removes sin, which allows you to seal this because to keep water out if you're out riding. You line up the dots, push that in, and just twist it. There's a gasket in there and it seals it. 
So when you're using it without their stick, you use that. Now, I'm going to be going back and forth because as I talk about specific features, I want you guys to actually see it. The cool thing about this is this is how we used it over the weekend to uh, film the ride that you saw last week. The, this is like the head unit. So this is one motor here. There's a second motor, and this is a third motor. They control various motions. So this motor will control left, right. The other motor control up and down and so forth. So there are three motors on here. Never, they, they recommend you never turn on the gimbal without having a camera attached to it because it will throw off all the settings and it, it could mess up everything to where you'd have a big headache getting it reset. So always make sure your camera is attached. The case that comes with it, let me, let me undo it here. This is the case that comes for the Hero 5 Black. And all you do is you put the camera, you put the camera in the case. I'm going to turn this way so you can see it. This case, it's easy to line up because it has the cutouts that accommodates this camera. So you can see where the lens is over here. So what you want to do is there is a little indentation on the case. You see that little lip right there? That allows the, the lens to come through. So where there is no, you see this little lip? Where there is no lip is where the lens comes through. So all you do is you line that up to where you have this access hole over your control for turning on the camera with one button. So it's really easy to know whether you're doing it right or not. And all I try, all I try to remember is that the lens needs to be away from this rotary attachment. That's the best way to do it because the case, you got to kind of have to look at it very carefully if you see it. It's not very, very specific as to which side it goes on the camera. So the first thing I did when I got it was I said, okay, as long as the lens is away from this rotary thing, I'm good. And, and then you make sure that when you put it, you have this opening here for your button. So it slips in like that, and then you lock it with this guy. That's it. Then the cool thing they added was on the bottom here, there is a little plastic flap because there's a button on here that just turns on the unit without filming if you're set, doing your settings and other things. That's what this is over. So what they did, instead of trying to make you get to that little button, they added a little flap there. And basically you push that and you, it touches your button and the camera came on. I'm going to turn it off again, hold it down. So you're not losing access to your camera when you put it in the case, which I think is kind of cool. Now you have to remove the case to charge it. If you don't want to remove the case to charge it, you can remove the door on this side. There's a little door you can remove, but why bother? Because you have to move, remove the case anyway to get your SD card, card out. So, you know, that, that doesn't make any sense. So I just remove the case, get my SD card. I only put it in the case when I'm ready to film. Now, that's the, that's the case. Now, this attachment, there's another attachment that comes in here for the Hero 4 Session and the Hero 5 Session, the little cubes. Those small, the smaller GoPro cameras, that's the, this attachment allows you to put it on there and use this rotary setting. But let's use it with the Hero 5 Black. I'm going to just roll this on here. So you line up, it's very easy, just like you were doing the handle. You line up the dots. There is a dot on this rotary thing. See right there? There is a dot on the gimbal. So you line up the two dots like that, and you just twist and it clicks. Easy. And to take it off, you have to push this little, there's a, you see that? You just hold that this way and twist. It comes off. Very easy to use. Easy to put in, easy to use. Once it's on there, now you can turn on the camera. Because of the balance and how they've calibrated everything, you, you don't want to turn it on without having a, a camera in there. So when you turn it on, it immediately balances the camera. You see, it's in pan mode. It's got pan mode, follow mode, and fixed mode. So you have different modes. When the camera comes on, I'm bringing it over here so you can see, 
That's the screen that tells you what mode is in. Right there. It tells you it's in pan mode. If you push the mode button over here, it changes the follow mode. That means when I move down the camera, you see the camera go down? When I come up, you see the camera come up? It follows whatever I do. I found that it's best for cycling to use it in pan mode. I'm going to move it to fixed. Go over to and then say lock and say pan. So now it's back in pan mode. Let me power it off. You have to hold the power button and then it tells you power off back on the screen. Now, this remote that's attached to the stick has all the functions that you saw on the side and you use them through this little button. So with the remote, it's in this, you can take it out if you want and just use it, but for cycling, that didn't make any sense. When you're walking around vlogging, that makes sense. But you, I just leave it in there. You can power this on. It comes on. You have to pair them initially, and the instructions are pretty clear. So now, once it's powered on, you can control the camera with this little rotary thing. You can move it up, down to the side, whatever. That's why I think this is best when you're just walking around vlogging. For cycling, I leave this stuff at home because you attach this to, like I have a GoPro mount that goes on the handlebars, you can put it there. I have a GoPro mount that goes on your wrist, you can put it there. I have one that goes on the helmet, you can put it there. Uh, we used it with the three-way stick, so we just attached the three-way stick under here, and we just had it on there. The, 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 the best thing about it, let me power it on. Hold the power button and adjust the camera for you. You can see, it's, they just got the camera going. I'm gonna turn it off again, and then I'm gonna turn it back on. When you power the, the unit, the camera is immediately adjusted. It goes to pan mode to start. This is the mode, because this mode, it will be like this and it moves that much to either side, just like the human eye. You, it's hard to discern. You have to watch the filming. It moves just a little to the left and right, which is great. So if I do this, the ca look at that. The camera does not move. The motors are moving. The camera holds its position. That's what keeps the thing, the, the, the film steady. This is what they use in Hollywood, but their gimbals are huge and they got big rigs with the camera in there where they're filming action scenes. If I move to the left, the camera slowly pans. If I move this way, you see that? So there's no jerking. And you know, even, even though this camera is, the Hero 5 Black has image stabilization, when you, when you don't have a gimbal and you move the entire frame moves, there's, no, there's nothing that can stabilize that whole frame that quickly when you have those harky jerky movements. So the older films I would make, if you notice, that was, it was bouncy and jerky. Sometimes it gets hard to watch. It's hard to follow. And so uh, I wanted an investment of something that would be used a lot, not just when I was walking around vlogging. But because of this thing now, I can walk around vlog like I did with the flood, and I can also use it on the bike. It's really great. So there's so much to this stuff, I couldn't cover it in one video. There are tons of reviews on the Remobu S1 on YouTube, you guys can look. Now let's talk about, I mean, so let me let me summarize the, the things I like about it. I like the fact that it is specific for action sports. So with this attachment, I can use it with any of my GoPro, especially the wrist mount that I have, because if I'm riding a lot of time, I don't want to think about a camera. I don't want to hold it in my hand. I can attach it to the wrist mount that GoPro makes, and it will just sit there. It can bounce around all at once. The image will still be stable. I can put it on the handlebars if I want, because the handlebar will even turn. Now all that bounciness is gone. I can put it on my helmet. So it's just, uh, I was like, wow. So that's all those users that said, well, now it makes sense to spend money on there. I looked at the, the, the gimbal that is made by GoPro. It's too limited. It was made for their, what they call it, uh, their drone and they sell it separately but it only runs for two hours this guy the battery goes for five hours easy okay so i'm like i don't have to be worried about it but besides the battery life is the flexibility and just the the, the the durability this thing is like anodized aluminum there's no plastic parts except for this guy very nice feely you know feels to your hand let me power it off here 
it has its own battery in that remote. That's what I'm powering off right now because I'm not really using it. So when you get it initially, you have to pair this remote with the CPU. That's what I'm calling it, CPU head. There's a button in the middle here for pairing. That's what this is. And the manual is very, very uh, clear. It's just you know, the quick start steps is all you need. I didn't even read a whole lot. So I love everything about it. I like the fact I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. Let me power it off. When, you, when you're using it, never try to remove the camera while the unit's on, because then you're making the motor work too hard. Always turn it off if you're going to mess with the camera. Okay, so I don't know. Yeah, I summarized what I liked about it. I, I really love everything they put in there. What could they improve? They could make this CPU a little lighter, maybe 200 grams, maybe in the future. Maybe right now that's the technology that exists because it works. It's not bulky but you're carrying an extra pound i mean i don't i don't feel that much of a difference it's about maybe a water bottle but it, it's not all in one place so it can be a little clunky when you put it on the attachment you hit a bump because this is plastic there are no ridges in it no notches so it, it can move even if you have it tight so what i do is i make sure i attach it and put the weight of this back you can also there are two screws underneath here you can remove and flip this around and put this to the back if you want, the plastic attachment. So nobody else has an attachment specific for GoPro. Now, what I, what I had issue with was everywhere they talk about all the marketing stuff, oh, it's rainproof. Nowhere did this say it's rainproof up to 10 minutes. And what the heck is that? I don't ride for 10 minutes. So I was a little annoyed. It's not a deal breaker. But why would you call it rainproof and then omit that is only up to 10 minutes and I have to get this when I buy the stuff that tells me, let me see where it is, right here, that tells me 10 minutes, right there. I'm a must read, really? Don't tell me it's rainproof. Just say you can be in the rain for up to 10 minutes or less. That's not rainproof. When I ride, I ride two hours, three hours, whether it's rainy or not. So that's, you know, so I wasn't too happy about that. That's just, you know, was it omitted? Was it intentional? You know, don't insult our intelligence. You know, we're, we're, the people that are looking for these things have, a you know, a certain amount of intelligence. That's why they're looking for your product. The product sells itself. You don't need to be tricky. So if it was intentional, make the changes. Post, make it clear before I get this, before I spend my money that it's only rainproof. Don't call it rainproof. You can use it in the rain up to 10 minutes. That's it. Then I will make a raincoat for it. Yeah, I know when I order it. I can get a plastic bag and cover it. It's not going to stop me from using it in the rain. Now I know i got to cover it if I'm going to be in the rain more than 10 minutes. So I was annoyed about that. Other than that, you know, I mean, it just seemed a little underhanded to do that. So, may, you know, hopefully it was a mistake because the products are great. So it's not a deal breaker. Uh, they have a little extra balancing weight here, this little circle that you attach. It comes in the pouch. But they tell you the instruction. You only attach the extra weight on the motor when you use the Hero 5 Black. When you use the 3 and the 4, you don't need the weight. Uh, it, will, it will work with uh, the Session, the, the 3, the 4, and the 5 Black. All of them. All the GoPros. So that, that, that's really great. So, I can't, you know, there's not much I can add. I love it. It's a great product. I hope that in the future they will look into making this a little smaller. Because it's a little clunky when you put it on your helmet. You feel that weight. Because it's heavy, you know. But it does the job. So I made some clips and I will be running them when I do this in, in post. The just the GoPro stick is very lightweight. So I'm just riding, I just rolled out of the house. I'm gonna do the same route with the with all the tests. So this is normally what I would do: look around, shoot the signs, go over this way. I'm going to do the same route. And, yeah, and this is what usually happens. I, I'm moving the camera, I'm messing with my bike, so the shots are all over. With the gimbal, the camera doesn't move. So whereas you guys probably saw the concrete when I moved my arm because I was shifting, with the gimbal, you don't have to worry about it. the camera will continue to film 
the object you're filming and won't move to the road when your hand moves. I wanted to, to state that so that you would be aware. So as you're messing around with the camera, the shot changes. So even though you have image stabilization, the frame, the whole frame moves. So when I, when I did that, I, you probably saw a picture of just the road. Like that. If I did that with the gimbal, you wouldn't see the road. The camera would stay on the shot it had. That's the biggest difference. Although, without the gimbal, this thing is so light. So, there will be some rides I will probably use like this. It's not too bad. But the gimbal just adds another level of stability. The, the gimbal has been attached now to the GoPro Hero 5 Black with image stabilization in 2.7K. 24 frames per second and I'm gonna ride the same route so you can see the difference I'm messing with it I'm doing what I need to do I'm gonna do the same motion with my hands I'm gonna go ahead and shift and I don't know if you noticed I just shifted and you didn't see the pavement and I just I'm moving the gimbal left and right you know just any kind of crazy way and I'm turning, I'm flipping my wrist and you know just messing around. I got it in the drops now. I'm holding the drops and it's there. I'm gonna turn and take a shot of myself and just try to get that house and this. So now I'm gonna go back to the front. I'm gonna turn around here. I'm only doing the test with the three-way stick because the theory is the same. I don't want to test every GoPro mount I have. But I just wanted you guys, those of you who saw the earlier videos that I made and the one, the last video, this last ride was with the gimbal. That's the biggest difference. So this is the same route that I just came with the other camera and I will do a split screen, probably better. I'm stopping here and this concludes the test. Okay. I changed the settings to record in 4K. This is 4K with the gimbal on. I'm gonna do the same route. 4K re resolution, 24 frames per second. And then I'm gonna come back and do it without the gimbal so you can see the difference. Film myself, film there there and I'm shaking the gimbal I'm moving my hand up and down in a circle left and right you know just flicking my wrist and moving it around you can see the gimbal controls the camera's movement to where it's smooth when you swerve when you spin it around that's the biggest thing it brings to it so even with the extra one pound, if you want to make a cinema experience, the gimbal really adds that. It feels like you're making a movie as opposed to just an action shot. And this, all of these I'm going to, are in wide selection. But because I'm doing 2.7 and 4K, for, you know, they kind of crop your picture a little bit. So it doesn't seem as wide. I didn't want to go super wide because I want more definition in the picture. So I'm going to go down here and then I'm going to switch to just to take it off the gimbal, start here and do the same loop. So stick, it doesn't really matter. You have uh, image stabilization is on just like it was with the gimbal. I'm going to do the same loop. I think my hand should add a little more stability than the stick. But when I move the camera left to right, you can see the picture will be a lot jumpier because the panning is not smooth. The gimbal controls the panning. That's the biggest thing. So I just want to show that you can film. You don't have to have a gimbal, especially with the Hero 5 Black because it has image stabilization. So it adds a lot to it. So it's not required but it just takes your filming to another level because there will be some rides where i won't want to bother with carrying the gimbal 
but there will be a lot of rides where I'll just mount the gimbal on the bike and go. And you can just ride and forget about it. Whether it's low or high. <clears throat> I came a little further down because this car was behind me. And I didn't want to be in the way. clips to com compare so I hope that this helps you guys make a decision one way or another uh, this product has more to it than I was able to cover in this video but you need to know I love it I bought it with my own money nobody sent it to me I don't have a relationship with remote at this time maybe they'll send me the next one so I can do a review but this is for people who want to get out there and do stuff action folks that's what this is for you got GoPro attachments this is the gimbal you need so you can make Hollywood level movies. That's, that was why I got it. I'm taking this channel to the next level and everything I want to do will be first class. So I hope you guys got a chance to get out there. I got to end this video right now. Get your miles in.